Hello my lovely ravens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chantel and today I want to do my 2023 travel journal setup with you all. Now I've ordered some stuff from Amazon, no not from Amazon, from Larry Post. I have an Amazon traveler's notebook on the way, which is not an original one, but it is still a leather one, but that's still on its way. So in the meantime, I'm going to use one that I made myself. And I have some other stuff to show you um, that I want to use throughout the year in my traveler's notebook. So let's get started. First of all, let's go um, through this one. So I made this one myself. Um, eventually I will sell these on markets that I'm going to do. Um, this is a Harry Potter fabric and I love it. Um, this is silver and this part is silver. I put, what is this, Montgomery 2589? I don't know. I got this from AliExpress like a while ago in like a pack of ephemera metal bits. And this is a Tim Holtz altered tag. So I am using just plain old flat elastic for this. Um, there's a rivet in there and there's three there and three at the bottom. And then this is what the inside looks like. There is a four parts there. So you can put four inserts or if you really feel like it, eight, because you can double stuff up as you know. Um, with other elastics so this is what i'm going to put in now whenever i get my other traveler's notebook so my leather one i will transfer everything that i put in here in my leather one so let's open this one up so this is from larry post i am in australia and larry post is the best and cheapest one to get it from their card is actually pretty funny. Tools for creative larrikins. And that was on the um, on the box. Um, it's a surprise with a little Larry Post logo there. So I thought that was cute. So what I got was a Traveler's note Notebook Diary for 2023. This is weekly on the left-hand side and Mebo on the right-hand side. So there's two booklets in here because it's split up in halves. This one is the 2023 monthly. This is a clear folder. This is a, um, how do you call this? Um, a pencil board, that's right. So this is basically a, um, a solid board that you can put behind your writing and then you can write on something that's not, you know, there's no stickers behind it and that kind of stuff. And this is the Traveler's Notebook customized sticker set for 2023 so their theme for 2023 is coffee and notebooks which is really cute i thought it was amazing because i love coffee let's unbox this or unpack this and see what we got so first up we have this little tag that sits over that and what does it tell us it tells us for all the travelers who have a free spirit, flight date 2023, destination weekly and memo. So this is the official official traveler's notebook, um, a diary on MD paper in cream. The paper used for this refill is called MD paper. This is our original paper that pursues the best feeling of writing. The paper makes the ink hard to stain and sink through to the other side. So it goes well with fountain pens as well, which is great. So that's that one. I'm going to keep this because I think I want to put that in my diary. So here we have, looks a little bit like canvas. This is July to December. And then this should be Jan till June. So when we open it up, it has a double page 2023, 2024 month overview. And then it has um, the four months per page. And then it starts uh, with the uh, week 51. And then we have the week 52 and uh, that's from 2022. And then we go into 2023. And that goes all the way to week 26. 
and you can see that there's like little um, marks there so you can split this in half if you like and then there's more solid lines here as well so that goes into that day so yes that is that and then the, the front of this one has the year overview as well and then it has the months there it's very good for a tracker actually hold on does this does this have the entire year jan april august yeah december and then this has july till december oh no till feb 2024 okay so yeah and then it goes on to the first week of january so there's that and then every one is like a departure card which is pretty cute as if it's as if you'd really be traveling but we're not um in this case i will put both in my traveler's notebook then with the traveler's notebook there's what they've got like an item list kind of thing and then there's a, a story here if you would like to oops if you would like to read it if you have traveler's notebook and a cup of coffee you are at the traveler's cafe so here's that if you would like to read that and uh, i think i'm gonna keep this as well because i don't necessarily am liking this blue cover so i might just cover that with something like that um yeah and then here we have some stickers coffee and notebooks there's two stickers there this is a big round sticker so there's that one and then this one the monthly one has another one of these cards Oops. and it has um, the MD paper as well comes with another one of those guides same same story there I do like this orange one so I, I do like this color so I'm gonna keep that as is and then we have another two of those stickers which are the same as these ones so there are those, Put those together there. Now this one is a clear folder. So you can basically just keep this in your traveler's notebook. I actually haven't seen anyone use this one yet. Um, I have seen people unbox them, but not use them yet. So, um, this is fully closed, so you can't really put it as a, a signature inside. Um, however, this is very nice paper, by the way. Very nice card. What you can do with that is this one. This is the pencil board, which is gorgeous. Coffee and notebooks for all the travelers who have a free spirit. A coffee. Of a cup of coffee at the Traveler's Cafe Cafe brings your brings you peace of mind. So it's got a ruler back there as well, which is nice. Um, and basically, you can put this in here and keep that in there. So there's that. And then this one is a Traveler's Notebook customized sticker set, specifically for 2023. And it says, this set contains stickers of index pockets, schedule icons, and decoration to cover to uncover to enjoy your traveler's notebook diary. So, oh, what's this? How's this? Please use these stickers to customize the cover of your diary or notebook. Put the decal on the place you like and rub the film with a ballpoint pen then the stickers transferred please remove dust before transfer okay is that for any of these oh that's for these ones the the letters i think um the index stickers are the best for travelers notebook 
large size for regular size and small size for passport size. So that is these ones. They are tabs. So these are large ones and these are small ones. But yeah, I would use these ones anyway, probably interchangeably. Um, just because I like that color scheme. I'm not so fond of the blue, like I, t like I said before. Um, let's see, for passport size, the index on top is recommended. Okay, well, we're gonna have the regular size. I'm gonna put it on the side. Schedule sticker. Please use these stickers to emphasize your daily plan for travel, movie, or dinner. Which are these ones? Which are really cute, nice icons. I always sniff my stationery. I don't know why. Don't know why. Clear round stickers. It's these ones. Clear round stickers to put on a date to mark holidays or important days. And pasting the sticker onto your notebook creates useful pockets for cards, members, and stamps. And that is these ones. So they actually have a, <clears throat> I don't know if I can show you that. I don't know if you can see. They have a little slit here, which you can take off, which creates a pocket, which is really cool. I love that. And then of course we have these stickers that are decorative. There we go. That's a very nice set there. I will now put this in here, which is exciting, I think. Oops. So this is the first one. I'll go with the last page to be in there. I'm setting this up now. I can't really wait for my new one to arrive because um, I am moving soon. So that is why I'm setting this up now because I need my diary for next year. So for now, yes, I will put this one in. I just want the whole year in my book. There we go. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of pages, but it all fits, so that's good. And then via AliExpress, I got this one, which is really great for like stuff like this. I can just shove inside. I hope it fits. No, it doesn't fit. But my card fits right there. So I might just keep this on the side for now. And you know what? I actually have more stuff coming that fits in here. Um, so I have another notebook coming and stuff like that. Uh, Actually, I might just take this one out. See, this is the whole point of this video, right? I'm going to set it up the way I want it. So take the second half of the year out. And then this needs to move because I have, I think I'm just going to find the middle of this thing. I have uh, Midori insert that I set up myself because I did not have anything like this yet and I needed a diary so there we go so my current one I'll show you is this one so it has a lot of random images and it's shiny because <sighs> okay so I have my diary, which I write in, right? Every day. Um, well, most, most, mostly every day. I started this in October. Um, I'm 80 pages in right now and I love it. I don't think I will buy such a big one again in the future, but so this is the Moleskine Expanded. So I first had these stickers on here, but then they kept peeling off. So I laser cut, laser printed something on here. Sometimes you just need to bow your head, say a prayer and weather the storm. 
Um, and I love that. It was my first time ever putting something on a journal like this, but I absolutely love it so much. Um, so that's engraved in it. So that's great, but then I had these stickers. So I stuck them on here, but they didn't stick. So I decided to laminate this whole thing. You know what, just book cover lamination stuff. Anyway, this is just a gridded notebook. And basically this is my month overview. And then we have the week overviews, right? Uh, and then we have another month and weeks. So I'm using this for now. What's the date today? 30th of this November. So we are somewhere here. Right. I might actually cut the edges of the of those ones off so it sits a bit better like this one. See how this nicely slots in and this is just uh, it's not. <laughs> I might just do that off camera, but I will do that. So this one has two of those inserts as well. I can probably, if I do this, it will probably fit. Only just. It's a big snug. Why is it so snug? Anyway. We'll leave it in there for now. So there's that one. Then I've got my new monthly here and my new yearly here, uh, weekly, I mean. And then in here, I will put my notebook. So this is just for everyday notes for orders and whatnot. So I'm gonna put this one in here and I think with this one around it, so. So there we have it. Um, here we have that insert. Yes, I think uh, I think this I think this is going to be my setup for 2023. Um, so if I close that, that will be it. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, I can't wait to transfer this into my uh, leather one that's still on its way. Um, but yeah, like I said, we're moving and I need to plan stuff in uh, into the new year and I couldn't wait any longer. So we're gonna go with this one for now. Um, let's see. So we have my right now diary. And then when we get into December, I can decorate. This is my monthly. So do we have December? We do have December. So I can start in this one for that. And then this one, I can start on Monday, the 19th of December. So what I might do is instead of using this monthly one, where the heck is it? I might just use this one. And I already know that I'm going to put a something in there. And what I can probably do is take it out and then put whatever month it is in there. And that's basically my page mark. That is the current month. So here we have that. Right? And then for this one, where's the current week or the week where we start would be December. Okay. So I'm just going to, and I will have to change it every week, but I don't mind. It's a page marker. So that's my page marker for that. That's my page. See, it just flips right open. I don't have to look for it. So it's great. And then this one is wherever, well, that's in the middle. But that's just my notebook, so that's fine. And then this I can just grab out whenever, and then I can just put that behind here and write on it so it doesn't have any bumps and lumps behind it, right? It's wonderful. Okay, so. Um, 
that looks okay for now. So once I start writing in this one, this one comes out because that one is then done. And um, <clears throat> then I might actually put this one in there or I know that there is a, a pouch coming. So I might actually put a pouch in there um, because that pouch is cloth. <coughs> which I can basically put around any of the signatures really. Okay, what I will do first and I will do it, I won't do it off camera, I will do it now. So I want to cut off these corners and that will make my journal or my diary sit just way better inside the book because it doesn't snag on the cord. Just like just like these ones and it's just a little corner you know it's not a lot little corner there and the other bits already have that so I'm not concerned about that maybe about this one this one didn't really have that this one's from Aliexpress so what do I expect right although it is really sturdy just a little bit more And you will notice that if you do that, it will just slot right in. See that? That sits way nicer for some reason. Well, not for some reason. I know exactly the reason why it sits nicer. Anyway, December. There we have it. No slipping and sliding, no nothing. Way better. All right. Um, good. So I want to decorate this one. I really love this this orange. Hmm. See, I do like this blue, but I don't like that blue. I'm gonna keep it simple, not too much. I think I might actually glue that on. See, I kind of like this story. I kind of want to keep that. Hmm. That already looks a lot better. So, where is my glue stick? There we go. rubbing off the excess glue. And then for this one, which is the second half of the year. So for that one, I will take this one out. Sure. 
have this cafe. I do like that. I really don't like this one. Um, and the Traveler's Biscuit goes right there. Okay, I think we are there for that decoration stuff. Um, so here is one, two, and three. Um, this is a little bit blank, but you know, I might actually, I might actually put this one on there. They are good stickers, by the way. Like good stickers. Nice. This will probably go in the next one. Probably just put it in between here. And then have my card in there. Or oh, it can't just sit at the back there. Just by itself, I can put stuff in there like this thing. So I do want to keep that, that's cute. And then, and then. So this is the diary for next year. I'm going to put these in my journal. So those are going to be in my journal. Um, I don't really have secrets in here, but you know. Uh, some frustrations might be in there. Um, so there's that. Um, I can even put this second story in there too. Um, and then I'll put that sticker in my normal diary as well. And I think this one is going to go in my diary too. And then I have this one left and I can probably put that in here like so. And then all the other stickers, Ooh, there's a lot of them. Um, so this is 2023. I can probably put one in there So what this does is, I'll show you, there is a pocket there. So this is now a pocket. These are pocket um, stickers, which are really, really nice. So there we have it. Actually would like this one to sit in there. Because you know, it just looks nice. There we go. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. With this one okay so I've just done the same thing here put another pocket in um, just so it's there um, so that one can go to the side okay so um, I love it so much I love the colors now it's a lot better without all the blue um, it's still there but it's not as obnoxious and the blue is in here too so it kind of ties in now anyway so that is that, and that's my notebook. Then I've got all these things here, which are um, the rub-ons, the tabs, I need to do the tabs. Um, this is uh, the um, icons, and these are the important date ones. So I am going to put them here in that little pocket. I can even put anything in here if I wanted to. Those are just gonna go there for now. So I might actually put them in the back so they don't get flipped too often. Just stays flat. And this one too. I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this one. We shall see.
It actually sticks out a little bit. Anyway, um, this one I'm definitely going to use. So, I think we should just stick this in. I might use the small ones for my monthly one. And then the bigger ones for the normal months, like, or the weeks, I should say. So this one, so this is my weeks. So scared to do that because you know it might fold crookedly and then it's crooked. Um, uh, I should have done it the other way around. Oh no! Can I still take that off? Okay, so what January to show, right? Goodness me. All right, flip and stick. Okay, Feb. Can we do? green so i will continue this and then i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done looks pretty neat so far if you ask me as you can see i have the tabs in and i also did that on the lower half of the second one just so when i put them together it will continue um so whenever the the ones for whenever this one is done i will go into this one and this one goes out this one move forward and this one moves in between there here we go so there is that i'm not sure if i should put these tabs in there as well i think i'll just leave it for now because it's basically open where i want it to be anyway because that is the um you know that is the month the current month so mm, so yeah and that is the month or the week where i will start and then this is just my notebook and there is the stickers I'm just gonna put this in there just to keep it together i suppose This one is going to go in a safe place. And now, this is basically my setup for 2023. I want to show you all the other bits and pieces that I've got. Which are in here. Oh, I still have this one as well, which I will put on the side too. Okay, first up, I have a clip. Now, clips are normally pretty expensive. This one was on AliExpress. And by the way, I will leave all the AliExpress links down below. Um, that's an affiliate link, so I will get a little bit of money. Um, but there is no extra charge to you. So if I want to journal and I want to keep the page open, because this is a big thing, I can now keep the page open like so. And then we'll just lie flat. There was a magnet on the back. I took that off just because. So there is that. Then I've got these Harry Potter stickers. Uh, believe it or not, there are Harry Potter stickers on AliExpress. Um, I have the set for every house. So this is um, Slytherin and you know, I don't even know what this says. Deceitful. There's a snake. I don't even 
know what this thing says either. It's like a, a ribbon with something. These could be like tabs. It's really cool. With ones. There's an S for Slytherin. This is seriously a nice set. Like there's a lot of snake imagery and it's green. And I thought, you know, some accent, you know, pops of, you know, green, red, blue and yellow or black is, is really nice. So here's the blue set. They are seriously really, really nice. Here is the red set. There's a little bit of gold and yellow in there too. And then this is the, I think this is the Hufflepuff one, Ooh, which is basically black and yellow. Yeah, they're very muted though, very muted, all of them, but they're super, super nice. All right. Then I have this box with vintage labels and they are stickers. So great for this is a quick embellishment or um, collage, something like that. They were cute. And then in that same kind of feel, I have this box, which also has labels. So if I want to do a heading or something or something important or interesting, I can just put a sticker and write on the sticker. Then I have these dots. Um, I've seen them being used like a lot in um, the planner community. And you can basically just, you know, put them up as embellishment like so or if you have a light one you can even put it over a date like that and you can still see through it don't know if that's the case with green though oh yeah I suppose you can still look through it or see through it they are seriously thin and they are washy but for now, I'm just going to put them here. I will find them later whenever I'm in March. <laughs> then we have these coffee stickers. I love coffee. I love going for breakfast with my family and have a cup of joe. So there's various coffees there, coffee plants as well. And I, I love these. These are really, really cute and not too big. So, you know, they would look silly on, on the page. So there we have that. Pop them back in the little box. Um, I have a, um, a set of drawers, like two drawers, which is my journaling and diary stuff for the year. So that's where I just put everything that I bought in. Um, so I have it within reach and I don't have to go through all my journaling supplies or all my craft supplies really. Okay, moving on. I have these by Airmail stickers and I think they always look great regardless of what they're in. Um, so journals, um, parcels you know i love these stickers so it's just you know priority mail and by air mail stickers and um yeah they add that little travel feel postal feel and i love that i really like that kind of look then we have some washies these are interesting so these look like a ripped or no not ripped burnt Pages. Where's the start? Right here. And again, everything that you see here, I'll put in the description box below. There we go. It looks really nice. So this one is a travel one with um, postage stamps. So let's back up. And then the other one, come on. This one is with um, words or writing. 
but love them. Different, never seen them before. Then I have this three set of washies. This one's a little bit too purplish pink for me, but the other ones I really like. So they're a bit thinner than the ones I've already got. Which are these ones. They're a bit wider. If you can tell. There you go. But I do really like these and in combination with each other, they're actually really nice. And then I love this one. This one is a what is it? Seafarers Explorer kind of old map kind of thing. Love this one. Looks like an old map. I kind of wish it was a little bit thicker, like wider, but there's a lot on here. Anyway, <clears throat> I have these two packs of deco stickers and there's three in each pack. Now I ordered both because they are different. So this pack, <clears throat> I'll zoom you in a little bit. So this pack is, um, what is it? Books, stationery, letters, mail, wax seal. This one is um, art supplies. You see that? It's really shiny. Art supplies, more art supplies, more desk stuff, glasses, <clears throat> a stack of books. Here we have a paint palette, more letters, letter desk, more art supplies, um, washi tapes and, um, it's really pretty, washi tapes and um, wax seals as well. It's really nice. And this one has similar items, but different. So you can see um, an inkwell and more letters, books as well, another inkwell, washi tapes, um, papers, a journal. So that's, it's kind of different, this one, but they, they do go together and they're all hollow, holographic, which is uh, just adding a little sparkle. So basically you cut around the image and then you can use it as a sticker because they're all, it's just one just one sheet right now. That's a really nice set. This one is, I'm pretty sure this is washi tape, but then just on a sheet. Uh, I think they are actually already cut. Yes, they are. So these just come off as washi tape. And um, yeah, just various art supplies as well papers just a very nice set and then this one which is also on washi tape but it's still in the packet on the white background so two of those sheets then this is the last part i have this giant what way is it up this is masking tape as well so also washi tape and um, similar to the um, sparkly ones, but then in washi. I really like this one. Stationery and art supplies. And then a similar one is also masking tape, but this is more with a stationery with a fall, kind of fall kind of theme. Then I have two PT ones, which is just like these ones, and then you can cut them and then um, use them. So they're see-through, but they're really nice. This is a coffee theme. And this is some um, breakfast things. <laughs> Which 
which is really nice. It goes really nice with my coffee stickers as well. So that is it for this haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, let me know what you think of in the comments down below, um, what kind of system you are going to use. Um, I think this one is going to be great for me for this year. And uh, hey, maybe next year I'll do something different and I'll make another video about it, um, telling you what I will be doing next year. So I normally don't really do planner videos. Also, I had planned <laughs> to do a Bujo or bullet journal video. Um, because I'm using this system and not bullet journal video, it feels like a waste of time to concentrate on bullet journaling. Um, and not just on this one, um, because this also takes time and bullet journaling takes a lot more time. So I'm going to concentrate on nice layouts of this one and then maybe give you flip through whenever I am uh, done with a month or so. Let me know if you're interested in that too. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.